You're watching, you're watching, you're watching You're watching, you're watching, you're watching You're watching, you're watching, you're watching You're watching Hello guys, very first time on Loud TV uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, how was the show? Rainy, right? <laughs> yeah, well, rainy. We didn't notice it was rainy during the show because it was like in the tent. <laughs> so it was good actually because it was raining. More people were inside. <laughs> but it was but, taking shelter, so the yeah, yeah, yeah. place was packed. Yeah. Really great crowd as well, so uh, we didn't have any problem with the rain at all. <laughs> Only after the show, as you can clearly see. <laughs> Is it the first time at Fest? First yeah. time. I mean, like playing here. I once visited as a fan in 2014, which was really cool. Like, really good festival. So, yeah, how do you feel to this European tour, you know? Uh, is it your only now? No, we, we just did like a, a European tour then in uh, March and April with Warbringer. Yep. And then um, right after that, we played some festivals and then we went, we're just back actually since last week from uh, South America. We did like Mexico, Chile, uh, Peru, Bogota, like Colombia, um, Brazil, and Argentina. So uh, yeah, it was cool. Now we're here, busy schedule. Yeah, busy. Next week we're playing Czech Republic. So. It seems that uh, South America or Latin America are crazy fuckers, like uh, especially in your old school. Yeah, it's true. But actually, I noticed that since COVID happened, the Europeans got way more crazy. Yeah, like it's feel like by taking away all those shows they finally realized how spoiled they were and now they're like going crazy but maybe it's also because of the new record because people really like the songs of the new the new stuff so i just see a lot of great reactions here in europe as well and then, i mean like some shows we played in brazil were totally nuts you know i mean people were like rolling over my pedal board you know? <laughs> but that, that stuff happens in europe now as well like yeah it used to happen only when we go to South America, but we notice now that really the Europeans are like super crazy wild. So uh, yeah, that's good. I mean, that's good for everyone. <laughs> uh, you, you released your last album last year. Yep. yep. Uh, Shattering Reflection, right? Yep. Yep. Correct. Uh, so now, one year after, what's the general feedback? Actually, it's been received super well. Like, people noticed that we stepped up our game on, on every level. Like, basically, our songwriting improved, uh, the vocal lines, the, the sound, everything basically just went to a next level. And I think that's good that we took our time for that record because it was COVID and we didn't have any time pressure because there weren't any shows anyways and we couldn't release it when everybody was in lockdown it made no sense so we really took our time worked with a producer for the first time and actually learned a lot out of it so that's, that's really cool yeah we did some new stuff i mean in deepest black is the first like power ballad thing we did and we didn't know how the people would react on it especially the, the yeah, the old school fans, but even they, everyone actually, they, they love the song, they've been singing along in whole, in whole of Europe and South America as well. So it's been received really well, better than we expected even. So that's, yeah, yeah, that's really that's good. Cool. Cool. Yeah. And many, many bands, many metal bands, uh, they took your, the time you know, to, to, to write and record albums. And most of the time they were very good, you know, because now we are again in a hurry, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, yeah, yeah. You're always raining after something, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah Like true. a rabbit in the Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, but I actually, I actually learned a lot from that time where we had nothing to do that I sometimes should slow down a bit and take my time and actually like maybe we should not plan so many shows while we're writing new songs and really focus on writing songs and working on that because else you're always thinking about the next show the next week you know so you're like ah oh, shit we still have to fix this because it broke down during the last show or this or that or we have to load the van and all this stuff you know you're always busy with the next thing but if the next thing is writing songs you're fully focused on that i think that's a better way to do it 
what did you try to improve on, on, the, on the last album? Everything. We didn't really, I mean, it didn't yeah. feel like we tried to improve, it just happened. We, yeah, but we, we noticed like our songwriting and the, the performance of the songs, because we had the time, we could rewrite them several times and always make them better. But that's so, the thing, with it, I mean, if we do a new album, we want to step it up, do it next level. That's what, mm -hmm. It's not like we, we push it, we don't like do it, but we just try to like make it a record that we can say like, it's the next level because it, I mean that's that's how you're supposed to evolve in my opinion as a band by releasing the same record every time. I mean no one gains anything out, out of it. So yeah, but it came quite natural. Yeah, we didn't I mean, force anything. No, I felt like we were just writing songs and we never really tried to stick into one style or put ourselves in a box. You know, we're not thinking about what style should we be writing like we just write stuff and sometimes if it's a cool riff and it's slow it doesn't matter if it's slow or fast you know i mean if it's good it's good if it's bad we don't use it it doesn't matter which style it is and i think we will always sound like us because because of the yeah i think we have a particular sound and that sound will always be the sound of evil invaders no matter which style of music, whether it's heavy metal, speed metal, thrash metal, you know, it's always going to be, be a mixture of all that. Because it's the stuff we love. This is your trademark. I don't know what our trademark is anymore, because I feel like we're, we're, we have some very slow songs on the, on the previous record as well, and I, I like the fact that it gives me so much room to experiment on the vocal line. It gives me a lot of room to, to you know, go wherever I want with my voice and, and make a bit, things a bit more theatrical in the lyrics and stuff and like really take the time to catch the listeners on ear, you know. Yeah. Um, we had uh, Municipal Waste in interview three days ago yeah. and they said us the problem to play at 1 a.m. in the morning, you know. You, you, could, you couldn't drink, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so you have the chance to play early so you can have beer and yeah, yeah, watch uh, see concerts, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. If we didn't have to do interviews all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you take the time to uh, visit the Festival of Arena? Not yet, yeah, not yet. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, really we'll, looking forward to we'll check we'll, it out, actually. Yeah. So. Which bands do you want to see today? Yeah, I'm gonna check Testament for sure. Like one of my favorite bands actually. And yeah, I wanna see Tenacious B. <laughs> Pantera maybe. Uh Hatebreed is oh no, they're playing while we're doing interviews. I don't know, I'm just gonna walk around and see. Like earlier this morning I was walking uh, on the the artists like catering stuff and I was watching the main stage and it was some band playing uh, what was the name? Skin. Yeah, Skin or something. And I was it's very strange band, but I kind of <laughs> thought it was it was cool, you know. Yeah, discovering new artists. I mean, there's yeah. so many stages and just like, running around. They have a really diverse shit. lineup. I noticed it helped us. So I'm curious to discover some new bands and to keep the energy of uh, of the people. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. What's the next step for? Yeah, maybe your holidays in a few days. Um, in July we don't have many shows planned, just one I think, so then we're gonna use that time to write songs, like write new music. Uh, in August we have a few shows. With Sepultura. With Sepultura, like yeah. Who? Sepultura. Sepultura. No, no. Never know. Never know. <laughs> Some Brazilian <laughs> underground band. <laughs> They are and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The new light, uh, the new light. This is not the new light, but mm -hmm. they are fucking amazing. Yeah. The drummer is. Uh, yeah, the he's drummer crazy. Is just, uh, yeah. For me, the best he's drummer in the world. Yeah, he <laughs> hits hard, man. That guy. Yeah, yeah. It's cool shit. Yeah. And after? Yeah, in September, we'll do a, a, a oh, yeah. festival in the US. Proc Power USA. Yeah. Um, and I think some other show. Yeah, in Belgium, we have the EP anniversary. Our EP is 10 years old. First EP. Yeah, uh, this year actually, and then we do a, like a special show in Belgium around it. I'm and gonna play the full first yeah. EP. Yeah. So for the old school fans, yeah. it's gonna be fun. Yeah, that's cool. And after that, I think we'll just focus yeah. on writing new songs, uh, new songs, and then play festivals next year. Yeah. And 
maybe if a tour option opportunity yeah. shows up, you know, we're so gonna do that. Going to tour in the US, right? No, no we're gonna do one show, show on oh. a festival, but it's like oh. a sold out festival already. Which one is it? Prog Power. Yeah, Prog Power. Prog Power. Yeah. yeah. It seems that there are more and more US yeah. festivals, right? Yeah, yeah we yeah, noticed like, like South America too. Yeah, like Summer Breeze. Oh, yeah, the first there's time there was Summer Breeze in, in Brazil. We didn't play it, but we hope to. <laughs> Guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much, dude. Thank you. All right. Cheers, dude.